thank you for watching another video from Accenture. So today we are going to learn how to create products and we are going to learn uh, the different attributes of products. So in order to create products, it is very simple. There are several areas where you can create products in the system. First of all, you can access it from the sales module. As you can see, um, this is how you go to the sales module. You click on the menu and this is the sales module. The second area you can have access to products would be inventory. So products would be here. And of course, you can also have access to products from uh, accounting. So when you go to accounting, products will be around, where is it? Sellable products. So this is where you have access to all your products. So um, going to any of these areas doesn't matter. They are all the same. So let's go to products and let's create our first product. So in order to create a product, it is as simple as just clicking on create you will be greeted with a screen that shows you quite a number of information. For new users, don't be afraid because um, as, as many fields as you see over here, you don't have to fill in everything. Just remember that in our system, as long as you see purple color fields, those are mandatory fields. So meaning to say you must fill them in. But for the white color fields, you can leave them empty. It is just fine. But of course, in a, in a system, the more information you have, the the, the better it will be because um, then it will be easier for us to do filtering, easier for us to do searching um, and, also, and of course in some cases it affects how um, the business process within the system is being operated. So let's create our first product. Say for example we create product 1 and product 1 can be one of several kinds of products. So it can be a consumable product it can be a service product, it can be a stockable product. Now, what is the difference between these three types of products? Service products is pretty straightforward. Service means you provide a service to your customer and as such, they do not receive any physical uh, inventory. So uh, for these kind of products, the system doesn't generate a delivery order for you. So the second kind of products would be consumable. Consumable products are, are products that are probably perishable are products that you consume over time so for example if you are selling uh, groceries vegetables fruits so these are products that um, will, will will go will go back in probably two to three days time so these are the products that we probably do not want to know or, or rather we it is very difficult to keep track how much inventory valuation we have in the warehouse because every now and then there are, there are going to be products that are they are going bad and we have to throw them away so finally, we have got stockable products. Stockable products are products that have got a very long shelf life. So for example, canned foods, for example, uh, you are selling products such as handphones, um, earphones, keyboards and mouse. So these are the products that you, you can stock up and you can stock up quite a number of them and leave it in your warehouse for a very long time. And for companies who are doing trading, right, you realize that um, your inventory will increase over time. And after a while, things starts to go very messy. You will not be able to, you will not be able to track how many pieces of each are there in your warehouse. And that is the reason why we have a system for you to manage all your products. So let's create product one as a stockable product so that I can show you how the system manage your inventory valuation uh, in future videos. So uh, we choose as a stockable product and let's give it a selling price of say $25. And let's say our cost price for the product is $5. We are able to issue an internal reference code and a barcode. So if let's say you have got a barcode scanner with you, uh, it functions exactly like a keyboard. So you just plug it into your computer and then you can start scanning um, the barcode from your products. Then you give it an internal category. So I'll go a little bit more into internal category in another training video because um, this is a this is another topic by itself. This is where you'll be able to manage how the valuation of your products are being managed within the system itself. You can do first in first out, you can do average costing. Um, it all depends on what kind of uh, company policies you have in your system. So you go into the inventory tab. This is where you manage uh, who are the suppliers who can supply you with this product. So if let's say you already know your suppliers, you can actually create your supplier over here so let's uh, add a supplier so say for example uh, vendor one is going to supply us with um, product one 
so we can create vendor one as as simply as uh clicking on create vendor one so this is the fast way of creating of course you are able to create and edit then you'll be able to manage many more of the details of this particular vendor for example their address their billing address warehouse address uh, and many other information so let's say this uh, vendor every time when we order from them they will expect us to order a minimum of say five pieces and every time we order five pieces they are going to charge us at five dollars and of course the same vendor uh, when we when we hit a different uh, MOQ a different ordering quantity say for example if we order 20 pieces from them they are going to sell us at four dollar eighty cents instead so we are able to do that all right so when we order five pieces of product one from vendor one we will be charged five dollars when we order 20 pieces they'll give us a 20 cent discount and of course sometimes when your when your supplier do some promotions or some discounts then you're able to then you're able to set the end date and the start date uh, for this particular promotion itself so uh, this is how we set up the vendor itself then next we go to sales sales uh, will allow you to control customer lead time that will mean for example every time when you sell this product to your customer we are supposed to deliver them to the customer the lead time will automatically tell the system to create a do that is at least of this duration so say for example to prepare product one to be delivered to the customer we require five working days so then over here we'll put five days so that when the system generate the delivery order automatically it will put it will it will set the delivery order to be five days later so this is how it works so for our for our purpose we'll just leave it at zero days because we want it immediate because this is a demo so variance this is where we manage product variance let's say for example if your products have got um, different uh, different type of attributes say for example uh, if you are selling shoes shoes you will have different sizes you will have different colors and probably you have got different designs so this is where you manage uh, all those variants and all those attributes so we'll leave this for another tutorial uh, in another video let's go to invoicing now under invoicing you'll see there is going to be quite a number of options for you to choose from most of the time you do not have to change all these options so i'll not go through every single one of them the only one that you need to pay particular attention to is customer taxes now this is the one whereby you charge gst to your customer so if let's say uh your product selling at 25 dollars if your $25 is already inclusive of GST, under invoicing, you would like to take away this chart by clicking the X and you would like to choose inclusive. So you would like to select the one that says inclusive of 7% GST. Now when you when you make selection uh, of this chart, right, the system will automatically do a, do a configuration to say that $25 is inclusive of GST so meaning to say your actual selling price is actually slightly lower than $25 so it is already inclusive of GST inside and this is most commonly used when let's say you have got POS so if let's say you are doing point of sale whereby um, you have got a counter you sell your goods to the customer so most of the time the price that the customer see they will expect to pay that price but if let's say you are doing a B2B business and you generally send them quotations for for prices and 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 whatever not you will probably want to use the other one which is the standard rated seven percent so if you choose this one then the system will will take note that twenty five dollars is the base price so when your quotation sends out it will it will tell the customer that uh, you have to pay seven percent of twenty five dollars as your GST so it so it really depends on what your company needs are and how you need your products to be priced uh, this is how uh, the setting you can do uh, for your system now when you go to notes you realize that you are able to add descriptions to your product now these descriptions will appear in various locations like quotations description for vendors now why do we have two types of description for quotation as well as for vendors uh, reason being very simple quotation is to show customer but for vendors, sometimes they recognize a product as a different type of products. Sorry, not a different type of products. Uh, maybe they have got a different description to it. Maybe they just use a uh, certain code word or certain uh, abbreviation for that particular product. And you want the 
vendor to know exactly what you're ordering from them so that is the reason why we we separate the kind of uh, quotation we use for customer as well as the kind of quotation we use for vendors so let's say for example um, product one we can have a different description for vendors so let's uh, use a different one for vendor say for example product one could say for example this is what our vendor call it so once we are done we click save and there we go we have got our product so creating a product is really that simple uh, and and if you do face any challenges or any uh, problems with creating our products do send us an email you'll be able to see our email address at the bottom of this uh, video itself send us an email and we'll get back to you real quick thank you so much